when I was invited to do statement in Miami at Basel uh, for this art fair shit, and uh, the idea is, uh, I, I had always this weird relationship with art fair because, like me, I'm an obsessive collector. Like I collect cars, furniture, snow globes. Like I have a million of collection and. Um, I really don't think art fair are very cool because you go there and you just get shit that you can find around the corner. Instead, like a fair should be something where you go and you find something, you know, really precious that maybe you lost 30 years ago and you've been 30 years hoping to find it again. No, and instead you just go and it becomes this parade and everything. And so I never wanted to do nothing for those fairs because I thought it was against the idea of uh, materialism. And I'm a very professional materialist. But uh, one day I was driving on La Sienega and, um, and this lady in front of me decided to stop her car and I hit her from the back. and. Uh, Practically came out that, you know, I, I got for a very cheap insurance. That is something that uh, I suggest you not to do because uh, on page 124, small like this, says that, yeah, they pay up to a million for uh, each accident. But then he says that uh, they pay up to a million for uh, a maximum of $5,000 for each car you eat. So they pay a million if you make it in one shot uh, to eat 200 cars. So the, uh, the lady was driving this uh, very beautiful custom uh, BMW convertible, so it costed me $27,000 to fix her bumpers. And, uh, and at the time, for me, $20,000, uh, $30,000, like this scale of money was like, unbelievable to compare to my scale of income. Like, I would never think I would, uh, by working in life, make uh, 27,000. So what I did, uh, I called back the people in Miami and I said, okay, hold on, I'm gonna do the statement shit. And uh, I took my car, who was all fucked up by the accident, and I melted down and uh, I casted the unicorn out of it. Because uh, I statistically find out, I was very interested by the idea of the sculpture, no? And, uh, and my idea was like, J-Lo lives in Miami, Madonna lives in Miami, you know, like all these rich, cheesy people. Uh, and I statistically Google uh, that uh, the most beautiful uh, sculpture animal, uh, it's a unicorn. Uh, like. Uh, I think the second one, and this is very weird, is a sheep. I don't know, there must be something perverted why people want a sheep. But, so I cast the unicorn, and it's very nice cast because it's casted with the same technique that they used to make in 1980s um, car parts. So when you, when you touch it, it's been repainted with the same sub black of my car. And when you touch it, you know, you really have the feeling of uh, you know, those beautiful, smooth cards, it's very beautiful. It was done at the Warner Brothers metal shop. Um, so the idea was like, you know, one of these super millionaire cheesy people with no taste will pick it just because it's good looking and they will buy it for 27,000. And the deal was like, okay, I'm gonna do Miami but all the money I get, I get it back and I pay back my car accident. It was a little failure because uh, somebody bought it, but was, you know, one of these art collectors who put it in a crate and I think he's waiting that I'm gonna die and uh, <laughs> we'll put it in auction. Okay, no, the other way. I know when they asked me, Warner Brothers, how big I want it, I told them, uh, obviously, real scale. 
and the guy looked at me and I realized that, uh, you know, and I meant like, I know, stupid, that uh, the unicorn doesn't exist. Uh, but uh, if it would exist, the unicorn will be, you know, more or less, you know, with the head like this and the back here. And um, so I think that's a real scale of a unicorn, more or less.